States of America. How difficult do you think it is today to be a conservative high school student? In any of the schools, not just, not just public schools here, private schools as well. Unless you're in a very strong, conservative, maybe a Christian educational school, you're going to run in to a lot of liberalism in the schools. But right now, we need to be teaching them the basics. So I'd like to introduce you to two brave high school students from Cranston East. They're members of the Young Republicans. I don't know that I'd have been brave enough. I, I grew up during the, you know, the protest of the 60s and my father was, you know, a baby killer Marine and, uh, you know, I was living in very liberal California. So we were basically told, keep your head down, your mouth shut. These two have decided to stand up and uh, come to you today and tell you how hard it is to be a conservative Republican. And they're from Cranston East, but trust me, they could be from any high school here in the state and any high school in the country. Welcome Julie and Evan, and introduce yourselves to this crowd when you get up, too. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Evan Gillesey. And I am Julie Martin. National Guardsman who served nine years active duty, including 14 months in Afghanistan fighting the war on terror. I am currently the class president of the sophomore class at Cranston High School East, and I work diligently on maintaining good grades within my school. I am the granddaughter of a woman who came to this country legally in 1965, got a job in a factory, paid off her mortgage in only three years, and didn't miss a single day of work in 27 years. Hard work is cherished in our family. It is a key ingredient to success, and it helps build our nation. One year ago, if you told me that I'd be standing here on the front steps of the State House, I probably wouldn't believe you. Then I was politically aware, but I never saw myself actually becoming involved. Today, I understand that the cost of remaining silent is much, much too high. Yeah. One of the first things that got me involved in politics were my teachers. Many teachers that we have had over the years have spent too much precious classroom time spewing one-sided liberal views to the students. If we dared to offer an opposing view, we were sometimes ignored or even ridiculed due to our beliefs. Teachers should absolutely not be wasting class time on personal politics, and the amount of time lost to these single-sided discussions is much too high! The amount of money that our government has spent on bailouts is absolutely outrageous. I cannot comprehend that my generation, my children's generation, and my grandchildren's generations of tax dollars has already been spent. The free market system of the United States of America is the best there is, and I cannot believe that President Obama and his administration is threatening to take that away. The amount of bailout spending that our government has initiated is much too high. With few exceptions, the media has completely lost its objectivity and has become a biased source of information. Some reporters twist the facts so much 
that it is hard to even call them reporters. <laughs> Ever since President Obama began campaigning for the Democratic nomination during the 2008 elections, the media has treated him like a celebrity. They refuse to give equal time to any conservative views, but at the same time, they're calling for something deceptively called the Fairness Doctrine? Well, yeah. no, that doesn't sound fair to me. The idolization of liberal politics in this country is much too high. Corruption is dragging America down. During the 2008 presidential election, Corruption took place inside the voting booth. Can you believe that Mickey Mouse managed to vote? And even deceased people somehow managed to get their vote in. How could this be possible? Oh, all right, they had a little help from an organization called ACORN. <laughs> and guess what? They had, there was not a single consequence for their actions. Justice was not served. The corruption during the 2008 presidential election was much too high. Noticing all of the corruption within our system, we felt the need to become more involved. So one afternoon, I was just looking around online at different groups that stood for the three things I think we need today. Less government, less taxes, and more freedom. That's when I found the organization called Teenage Republicans. Teenage Republicans is a nationwide organization that helps teenagers ages 13 to 19 to become politically aware as well as learn leadership skills. I am proud to announce that Evan and I will be starting the first chapter of Teenage Republicans at Cranston East that Rhode Island has had in decades. Teenage Republicans annual leadership conference in Washington, D.C., and we were fortunate enough to be able to attend. While at the conference, we were able to learn so much about our government freedom as well as the, as, as well as the fundamentals of the Republican Party. Julie and I will be bringing the first Teenage Republicans chapter to Currents and East that Rhode Island has seen in decades. This club is to encourage students to realize that there is more than one point of view opposed to some of the way our teachers talk about politics. The mission of TARS is very simple. For one, we want to spread political awareness. It is our responsibility to question our government and hold, and hold it accountable to us, the citizens. Woo! Most of my classmates will be voting in the 2012 presidential election and we feel it is our civic duty to make sure that when voting day comes, our classmates are not ignorant of the issues, of the candidates, and of current policies within our government. When voting day comes and they're in that voting booth, they will be voting for who they feel shares the similar beliefs, not who they feel is the cool candidate. Also, our TARS group will help campaign for worthy candidates on the local level, on the state level and national levels who will defend the Constitution that this great nation was founded upon. Another of our main goals at, with Teenage Republicans is to fundraise for the troops. They put their lives on the line for us every single day and it is the very least we can do to get them simple things such as phone cards so they may talk to their loved ones here in the States. Many of you know someone who has fought in the military and risked their lives. They fought for a reason. They fought for our freedom. And for that, we thank them. Because it is freedom that makes America so great. Ronald Reagan said it best. America is a shining city on a hill. Together, we can and will keep her that way. It is time now to return to the philosophies of our founding fathers. Woo! Woo!